Jacob here, back again in the Cutting Edge Garage with Rust Belt Mechanic, and today we're taking a look at the, a tire inflator. This is a pretty heavy duty looking tire inflator right here. So yeah. it's a it's a it's robust for sure. I, I really like the metal housing and the uh, and the rubber boots on it. And you're not supposed to, but generally what I do is when I'm airing up tires, I'll, sometimes you're you're slinging those underneath vehicles. And, sometimes. <laughs> okay, all the time. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that, that's a, a sturdy unit for sure. It'll now for heavy duty trucks, this is something that a lot of you guys are gonna be able to enjoy and use. It does have a uh, spring hose design here, so it's not gonna be just flopping. It's not gonna be breaking the rubber section here in the middle, especially when you're getting chemicals involved, trans and brake fluid mm -hmm. and stuff like that. that generally breaks this stuff down, especially when you bend them so much back and forth. So it does have that spring help, uh, the spring assistance to the hose. Then you also have a secondary end to it that also has uh, your extended end for dually wheels and tires too. So really nice little addition onto that one. Digital gauge, this one goes up to what? Like 150, 160 PSI? Yeah, 160 PSI it's rated to. Cool, how many CFM does this one flow? Um, uh, around 1.2. So it's gonna be able to air up some big tractor truck tires with a lot of ease, especially you put some nice half inch NPT fittings on here. Uh, you're gonna be able to get a lot of flow out of this one. I just I love how heavy duty and how thick and sturdy this one is compared to a lot of the other name brand ones. So what's this one gonna cost them? Uh, only 120 bucks for that one. $120? Yeah. I personally know that a lot of the other truck name brand ones, they're gonna run about $110 just for the little bubble style one that you get off of the truck. So with a digital inflator that's this heavy duty and able to go up to 160 PSI, it's pretty impressive. All right, so enough talking about this heavy duty thing. Can we see this thing in action? Yeah, let's try to it over here. Let's check it out. Let's go. This is cool. We've got power to turn this thing on, digital gauge on it, reading right here. I like this lift too, by the way. This is nice. All right, that's good. Hey, by the way, you got a flat tire. Just saying. So we've got locking in, so it's gonna lock onto the threads right there. 14 PSI. That's a tad on the low side. A little bit on the low side. Then you use a little bit more air to it. Now with the compressor, I'm not sure how much flow we're gonna get, but this thing is able to run up to 1.2 CFM. So Pretty quick in the way of uh, filling. We're up to like 25 PSI now. There we go. We've got this thing pretty accurate. Down to the tenth of a pound, we've got 35.5 PSI, which is what we're running out of the door tag on this one. So. All we were able to do is unclip it from there and we're good to go. So really nice, really impressive tool. This thing is gonna be great for use in the shop. 